The Swimmer, a 1968 American drama film, showcases Burt Lancaster in a tale that delves into the human psyche. Adapted by Eleanor Perry and directed by Frank Perry, the film brings to life John Cheever's 1964 short story. Rediscovered thanks to a suggestion from a viewer in Australia, this cinematic piece explores the journey from a seemingly idyllic life to the depths of self-reflection, leading to many hours on a psychiatrist's couch. In the 1968 film, The Swimmer, Ned Merrill, played by Burt Lancaster, embarks on a physical and emotional odyssey through the swimming pools of his affluent neighbors. This journey is not just a literal one from pool to pool, but also a metaphorical dive into Ned's life and his pursuit of fulfillment. As he swims across each pool, he confronts the realities of his existence, the decisions he has made, and the society that surrounds him. The film peels back the layers of Ned's character, revealing the dissonance between his outward confidence and inner turmoil. Through this narrative, the swimmer explores themes of social status, self-deception, and the pursuit of happiness, ultimately questioning the very nature of the American dream that Ned is chasing. The pools serve as a stage for Ned's introspection and the unraveling of his life's narrative, making the film a poignant study of a man's existential crisis. In the 1968 film The Swimmer, directed by Frank Perry, the narrative unfolds in a dreamlike manner, delving into the superficial nature of affluence. The protagonist, Ned, embarks on a journey swimming through pools across a suburban landscape, which serves as a metaphorical critique of the hollowness of material wealth and the disintegration of the American dream. As Ned traverses from pool to pool, he encounters various characters that reveal the disillusionment and moral decay festering beneath the surface of their polished existence. The film's direction is deliberate in its portrayal of this existential odyssey, using Ned's swim as an allegory for self-discovery and the loss of personal ideals in the face of societal expectations. The director's approach is a direct commentary on the emptiness that can accompany a life focused solely on material success, challenging the viewer to reflect on the true value of human connection and fulfillment. The Swimmer, released in 1968, begins with a narrative grounded in reality, depicting a seemingly ordinary day in the life of its protagonist. As the story unfolds, the film gradually shifts, adopting a more allegorical tone. The dialogue delivered by the characters becomes increasingly rigid and mechanical, which, rather than detracting from the experience, adds to the overall dreamlike quality of the film. This stylistic choice fosters a surreal atmosphere that envelops the viewer, blurring the lines between what is real and what is not. The narrative style serves as a vehicle for deeper themes, exploring the protagonist's journey through a series of swimming pools across a suburban landscape. This journey, at first glance purely physical, is revealed to be a poignant exploration of the character's psyche, with each pool encounter exposing deeper layers of his emotional state and past experiences. The film's progression into allegory allows for a rich examination of the human condition, making the viewer question the nature of the protagonist's reality. The cinematography of The Swimmer serves as a visual narrative that complements the unfolding story. Through the lens, the audience is transported to a bygone era where the visual style mirrors the emotional journey of the protagonist. The use of light and shadow coupled with the camera angles creates a sense of intimacy with the characters, revealing their inner turmoil and the facade of their seemingly perfect lives. As the protagonist swims from pool to pool, the changing landscapes and the quality of the film itself evoke a sense of time passing, memories fading, and dreams dissolving. The visual storytelling is subtle yet powerful, with each frame carefully composed to reflect the protagonist's descent into realization and the disintegration of his idealized world. The cinematography does not merely capture the action, it is an essential element of the narrative, speaking volumes about the character's emotions and the societal norms of the time. It is through this visual medium that the film communicates its most poignant messages about the human condition. In the 1968 film The Swimmer, the protagonist Ned Merrill's journey across a series of swimming pools serves as a metaphorical odyssey through his life, revealing deep-seated regrets and failures. The narrative delves into the theme of an unyielding quest for youth, which is evident in Ned's desperate attempts to reclaim his past glories. This is poignantly illustrated in scenes such as his inappropriate advance towards a young woman who once babysat for his children, reflecting his refusal to accept the passage of time and his diminished status. 
Additionally, a surreal race against a horse underscores the futility of this challenge against the natural aging process. These elements collectively paint a portrait of a man in denial, clinging to a distorted perception of reality and unable to come to terms with the consequences of his actions. For his role in the 1968 film The Swimmer, actor Burt Lancaster undertook a rigorous training regimen to embody the character's physicality authentically. Despite his initial discomfort with water, Lancaster committed to an intensive program that included working closely with an Olympic swimmer and a coach from the University of California, Los Angeles. His dedication to the role was evident in the transformation he underwent, adding 20 pounds of muscle through swimming and other physical exercises. This preparation was crucial for Lancaster, as it not only enhanced his performance, but also allowed him to portray the swimmer's journey with a convincing physical presence that matched the psychological depth of the character. The 1968 film The Swimmer, starring Burt Lancaster, received a spectrum of reviews from critics upon its release. While the film itself elicited diverse opinions regarding its narrative and thematic execution, there was a unanimous appreciation for Lancaster's portrayal of the protagonist, Ned Merrill. Critics highlighted Lancaster's physical fitness, which was deemed exceptional, and befitting the role of Merrill, a man who swims across pools in a wealthy Connecticut suburb, reflecting on his life and personal failures. His performance was seen as a strong point of the film, with many reviewers noting the depth and nuance he brought to the character. This aspect of the film was consistently recognized as a highlight in an otherwise variably received cinematic piece. The film's exploration of themes such as the American dream and societal norms, along with Lancaster's embodiment of the character, left a lasting impression on the audience and critics alike. Despite the mixed critical reception of the film's overall impact, Lancaster's dedication to the role and his convincing portrayal garnered respect and admiration. In the 1968 film The Swimmer, the role of Ned Merrill was a sought-after part among leading actors of the time. The production considered several prominent figures for the character, who is central to the story's exploration of suburban American life. William Holden, known for his rugged charm and dramatic presence, was one of the early considerations. Len Ford, another actor with a strong screen persona and a history of versatile roles, was also in the running. Paul Newman, with his striking features and ability to convey deep emotional undercurrents, was thought to fit the role well. George C. Scott, an actor with a commanding presence and a reputation for intense performances, was likewise seen as a potential fit for the character of Ned. Ultimately, the role went to Burt Lancaster, whose athletic build and charismatic screen presence brought Ned Merrill to life in a memorable performance that captured the complex layers of the character's journey through a series of pool swims across his neighborhood. In the 1968 film, The Swimmer, starring Burt Lancaster, the wardrobe plays a significant role in the visual narrative and character consistency. Lancaster, portraying the protagonist Ned Merrill, is seen wearing blue nylon swimming trunks throughout the movie. The choice of wardrobe is deliberate, with 17 identical pairs of trunks used during production. This decision not only aids in maintaining continuity, but also reflects the character's journey and the film's thematic elements. The simplicity of the costume design allows the audience to focus on the emotional and psychological aspects of Ned's odyssey across the pools of his neighbors in an affluent Connecticut suburb. The consistent use of the blue trunks becomes a symbol of Ned's static state amidst the changing environments and interactions he encounters, highlighting the contrast between his internal turmoil and the seemingly serene world around him. The documentary The Story of the Swimmer by Chris Ennis offers an extensive look into the 1968 film The Swimmer. It is notable for its length, surpassing that of the original movie, and provides a deeper understanding of the film's production and significance. Despite its comprehensive coverage, the documentary remains elusive for those looking to stream it online, presenting a challenge for enthusiasts and scholars eager to explore the layers of meaning within the classic film. The documentary's scarcity adds to the mystique surrounding the swimmer, making it a sought-after piece for cinephiles and a valuable resource for academic study. In the production of the 1968 film, The Swimmer, significant directorial changes occurred. Sidney Pollack was brought in to replace Frank Perry after disagreements over the creative direction of the film emerged. Pollack directed the reshooting of several key scenes to align with the new vision for the film. 
Despite these changes, Frank Perry maintained the directorial credit due to the terms outlined in his contract. This decision was a result of complex negotiations and reflected the challenges of filmmaking when creative visions diverge. The reshoots by Pollock were integrated seamlessly into the final cut, maintaining the narrative's coherence and visual style. In the 1968 film The Swimmer, directed by Frank Perry, and based on a story by John Cheever, a casting change occurred that affected the movie's dynamic. Barbara Loden, initially set to play a significant role, was ultimately replaced by Janice Rule. Rule took on the character of Ned Merrill's mistress, bringing a powerful and nuanced performance to the screen. Her portrayal added depth to the narrative, exploring themes of disillusionment and the facade of the American dream as experienced by the protagonist Ned during his journey across the pools of his affluent neighbors in suburban Connecticut. Janice Rule, known for her role in the 1968 film The Swimmer, shifted her professional focus after her acting career. She pursued psychoanalysis with dedication, achieving a Doctor of Philosophy degree. Her practice was established in both New York and Los Angeles, where she provided psychoanalytical treatment to her peers in the acting community. This transition highlights her commitment to personal growth and support for her colleagues in the arts, offering them insights and therapeutic guidance through her expertise in psychoanalysis.